time you turn it on, you just gotta set it. That's okay. Bitcoin, okay. but he also he started out as a child star. He was in the Mighty Ducks, okay. and then um, he started one of the first uh, online streaming companies. It lasted about a year or two, and then they were um, closed down because of allegations of uh, child abuse. Wow. Um, his two partners did end up in jail. He settled out of court and then moved um, to India, and he started a sweatshop for kids to play uh, World of Warcraft and different games, and then he would sell the, the, their winnings online okay. to other gamers. Um, and then uh, that's how he made his millions and then bought into cryptocurrency. Okay. So um, he tr uh, after Hurricane Maria, he went to Puerto Rico, tried to take over. Funny thing is the first place they gave him to use as an office was the Children's Museum of Old San Juan. Okay. Which is kind of ironic for an accused child molester. Oh, well. Um, anyhow, uh, so he, uh, the people realized what was going on in, in his history and they kind of blocked him and he was never able to do it. Um, but he also has two other companies uh, with Tether. Tether is the first uh, cryptocurrency supposedly backed by real money. Okay. The company that was backing it is a Puerto Rican bank okay. that declared that real money? They declared insolvency <laughs> a year ago. That's but, the thing. They yeah, declared insolvency. So there was no real money exactly. backing up. Um, and so the, the news on, uh, you know, the word on Reddit is through another platform he has called Bitfinex, which is a, an anonymous peer-to-peer -peer trading okay. um, service. He traded tethers for Bitcoin, and then when it all came out, the tether was worthless. That's the bubble that burst about a year ago, when, it, when Bitcoin dropped half price. Wow. So anyway, one of the promises he had was to um, help the electrical grid. So this is about uh, Bitcoin mining and how it affects um, ecology and the electrical grid. So it has a temperature and humidity sensor. It takes the temperature and humidity in the environment and um, changes it to sound frequencies. And uh, it has a heart rate monitor. So when you put your finger on it lightly, it syncs up with your heart rate. Kind of like, you know, if you actually pay attention and care, then, you know, you can avoid these sort of situations. If you want to try it out, you can go uh, on the headphones. And that's the, that's the humidity. If I put my breath on it, it'll change according to the temperature and video of my breath, and when you put your finger on it, it sticks up with your heart rate.